hello! And we are both wearing matching pajamas. Hi. Well, that was a disappointment. Hello and welcome to a vlog. I know I haven't made a video in quite a while guys and I do apologise for that and so I thought to finish off the year I would just record a little vlog about what I'm up to this week. I'm doing a few little Christmassy things and I thought you guys might want to see what I'm up to and I thought it was a good video to finish off the year with because this will be the last one that I'll make till 2019. So it's Saturday today, I am off to my friend Hannah's. We are having a kind of like little Christmas party, the two of us, because we both work for ourselves, we don't get a Christmas party. So we decided we'd have our own little one. We're both gonna wear pajamas, watch some Christmas films, order some Chinese, so I'm gonna drive over to Hannah's now. Now, I'm wearing a little sort of snuggly jumper now, but I have actually packed in my bag some pajamas. And funnily enough, I got sent them this week by Next. They're beautiful, fluffy pajamas. And um, Hannah got sent exactly the same pair. So the two of us are gonna be sat there in matching pajamas, watching Elf and eating sweet and sour chicken, hopefully, or crispy chili beef. But anyway, that's what I'm doing tonight. So I thought I'd take you along with me and for the rest of the week. So I hope you enjoy having a nosy at my festive week. And uh, yeah, I'll show you quickly my pajamas and then I better get going. So they're all packed in my bag. They're these, um, ooh, they're fleecy. Fleecy purple leopard print, which are just jazzy as anything. And actually some bed socks and a little present for Hannah, which is something that I made. So I'm going to give that to her as sort of an early Christmas present. Mm. So I'm here at Hannah's. Uh, we have got Elf on the TV and we are both wearing matching pajamas. <laughs> Getting really into my noodles. And the Chinese has just arrived. Hannah has the coolest setup for Chinese on her big poof. Look, we've got it all laid out. And we're just going to sit cross-legged in front of the Christmas tree and watch Elf. So I will catch you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It is Sunday. I mean, it's not really morning, to be fair. It's actually, it's actually lunchtime. Anyway, today is Sunday and today I have my Christmassy jumper on because I'm going to finally decorate my tree. So my tree has been up. I put it up last weekend um, for a photograph that I needed to do and I put a few decorations on it but I wasn't happy with it. So I've taken everything off um, and I have now decided that what I want to do is have a bit of a pink and gold um, colour scheme as it were. And do you know what I'm going to put on it? I'm going to put tinsel on it. And I know not everybody likes tinsel but I reckon this tinsel will look really, really nice. I bought it last year right at the end of um, Christmas. And it's this really nice pale pink tinsel. And I've got this really nice matte gold tinsel as well. So yeah, that's my plan today. After such a nice Christmassy night last night, I thought I'd have a bit of a Christmassy day today. So I've got the heating on. I'm gonna put Miracle on 34th Street on the telly because that's one of my favorite Christmas films. I'm gonna eat some chocolates. The dogs are just, Eddie's asleep on the sofa, well he's lay on the sofa, he's not been very well bless him, he's got a really bad cough so if you hear this sort of weird hacking noise, it's my baby Eddie. First thing I've got to do is put lights on it and I have to say, putting lights on a Christmas tree is one of the most boring jobs in the whole entire world. I actually think I detest it more than changing bedding. Changing bedding's normally my least favourite thing to do in the world. But yeah, that's my plans. So I also have a sort of menagerie of animals. Um, I love penguins. Penguins are like my favourite animal. Um, so yeah, I've got a little penguin, a little reindeer. And this is kind of the inspiration for my Christmas tree this year. These are these really pretty um, glass decorations. They switch on. Hang on. Look. <gasps> Isn't that nice? Uh, they're from Matalam, um, and um, yeah, they've got different colours, they've got blue ones as well. And I picked up some new decorations yesterday from the range. These are these absolutely beautiful glass teardrops, and they were 89p each, and they're glass. How amazing is that? I love the range, Christmas decorations. But these are my other Christmas decorations that I'm going to put on the tree. 
So these are some that I've DIY'd. Uh, it's actually on my Insta stories, the little um, DIY of how I did them. And these are some that I DIY'd last year with a little gold stripe on. So that is the tin salon and the lights. What do we think? I quite like it. I'm trying to go for kind of like a, you know, like a pink and gold ombre thing. Um, but I've alternated it rather than all uh, pink at the top and gold at the bottom. It's quite hard to put tinsel on. I'm not used to it. But yeah, I reckon that's we'll go with that. You right, boo boo? What is it? You're not coughing today. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. All right then. Yeah. So time for barbels. Hello. There we go. Starting to take shape. My star's a bit small and pathetic, if I'm honest. Look at it. It's a bit small and pathetic, isn't it? Not sure about that. I might have to get a new one, but hey. So that's what it's looking like so far. So yeah, so I don't think I've got enough baubles, so actually I've decided I might um, DIY some. So I've got these um, plain baubles. I bought them um, in the sale for 50p. For, oh, look, there's my camera strap. I bought them in the sale for 50p last Christmas. They're all just plain white. And I'm going to paint them pink and maybe put some gold, maybe put some gold glitter on them or whatever. But there's no point going and buying some. So I'm going to finish off watching Miracle on 34th Street. We're just stuck to the, uh, the end, pretty much, which uh, is my favourite bit. So yeah, I'll try not to cry. Um, yeah, I'm going to sit and watch the end, paint some baubles, and then um, yeah, I'm just going to chill out tonight. So I shall catch you tomorrow. Hello, hello. It is Monday. Oh my God, what a mess this room looks <laughs> like. Yeah, it is Monday, and I have spent my morning shooting some of my freelance content over there. You can see little flat lay set up so that's for one of my um, freelance jobs that I do and now oh god it's so dark today look at it miserable uh, but the tree is up I really really like it I think it looks really really nice I'm really pleased with it um, so yeah I'm gonna head into town now because a friend of mine Bex has got a big white sort of tree branch thing which is from the theatre where I used to work and I'm actually going to put it in my dining room and decorate it with baubles. So I need to go and pick that up and also run some errands in town and, um, yeah, pick up a few bits and bobs. I haven't started my Christmas shopping, which is a little bit scary because it's the 10th of December today. But I kind of know what I'm getting everybody. I've already got, have already got a few bits. Um, so it's not like a huge, huge panic. But yeah, not going to do any Christmas shopping today. I'm just going to sort of run some errands. And then I think I want to make a list so that I'm quite focused. And yeah, do it later this week, I think. Da -da -da! The lights aren't on, obviously. Oh my God, look how wonk that is. Um, yeah, quite like it. What do we think, people? So, oh, the door must have a parcel. Well, that was a disappointment. You didn't actually have a parcel for me, you made a mistake. However, I do have some posts to show you if you would like to see. One of them is a necklace and I actually want to put it on today. So I'm going to show you a bit now. So it's from Aurelia Jewelry. I've already um, undone it. And this is a new um, thing that you can do on their website. So if you don't know, if you don't know, I am an uh, Aurelia Jewelry ambassador. And that means that I get sent pieces every month and um, because I love them, because I genuinely wear them and I've shopped there before. So I'm really happy to promote them because I really, really like the pieces. They're all gold plated. Um, they're all really, really nice quality and really, really affordably priced. So this is a new product which I was able to customise and make myself this week and it's just arrived or last week should I say, and yeah, you can create your own necklace essentially. So, um, so I've picked this little gold bobble chain, and then you can pick uh, charms to go on there. 
So I've picked um, a little D initial, a little green sort of fang, a little um, lightning bolt and also a little star. And they all come in this little box um, and it came all beautifully tied up with Aurelia ribbon. So it's, it would make a really, really nice Christmas gift. There's loads of different charms that you can choose. And then obviously the person that you give it to can sort of wear them all or you could wear just one. Or So I'm going to put them all on today and wear it. There we go. It's on. What do we think? I think that's so cute. Although I can't work out if the D's on the wrong way or if that's just because obviously I just looked at myself in the mirror. So obviously it's going to be the wrong way in the mirror, isn't it? I'm half asleep today, it's not going well. <laughs> anyway, yeah, need to go to town. I've got some other deliveries that I want to show you, but I am running late, um, as always, and um, my friend is going out, so I need to pick up the tree before she goes out for the day. So I'll hopefully show you the deliveries, um, the other bits, um, later when I get back, if it's light enough, and if not, I'll show you tomorrow. Loads of time to show you. Um, but yeah, I shall get going. Hello, it is Tuesday. <laughs> had to think then. Uh, yeah, so it is Tuesday. It is Tuesday lunchtime. Um, I look a little bit glammed up because I need to take some photos this morning to go with a blog post, which is going to be on my blog uh, later this week. Um, so yes, I look a little bit glam. Um, but yeah, that's all I've been doing really is getting ready to take these photos. And um, this morning I actually... I posted on Instagram, you might have seen it, um, if you follow me on there, posted on my stories, just a little bit of truth really about the fact that actually at the weekend, which obviously I've already vlogged, um, you'll have seen that in the beginning of this vlog, I actually had a really crap weekend. Um, I felt really down, really lonely and I really, really struggled and I have been struggling for a couple of weeks. And it's a lot to do with my personal situation. Um, I'm getting divorced and that's hard, it's painful. And um, and there's a few other things going on, you know, it's too much to go into here, but basically on my Insta stories, I was sharing that actually, I'd shared this picture that was all smiles and everything. And actually, in fact, that's not how I felt at all, but it was just easier to just lie and put up this smiley picture with a funny caption and whatnot. And that's actually not the truth. And I had so many direct messages, which was so nice, but I thought I should mention it here in the vlog as well, because obviously if some of you saw those stories and then you see this vlog, you might think, oh, you know, Clearly she's acting all happy in the vlog as well and she wasn't. So no, at the weekend I spent a large proportion of it in tears. Obviously I didn't vlog that. Uh, nobody needs to see my sweaty crying face. But I feel more positive today. Um, so yeah, just trying to crack on with some bits and bobs. And I need to show you that post as well that arrived. So but I need to get my freelance stuff done first. Uh, finish these pictures and shoot these pictures. And then I will show you. I promise, I promise, I promise. But yeah, I need to, uh, haven't quite worked out what I'm going to do for these pictures. It's for a blog post all about these supplements that I was taking. Um, the 7C supplements, like anti-aging. And I was quite impressed with them. So I do want the pictures to be nice. Obviously, I need to be in them. So I'm going to do a little bit of a self time not a self-timer, use the Olympus app with my EPL9 and my little tripod. So I might set up the camera so you can see me shooting those pictures. Okay, so let's ignore the absolute carnage, but I've got my camera set up on my tripod and I'm just going to sit on this little seat and um, have a little cup of tea. I just want some pictures that are just me looking relaxed, sitting and um, smiling. I've put these flowers in the background, which are these beautiful flowers that Hannah sent me as a thank you for supporting her for her first year of motherhood with her and Atty. Uh, which was lovely. So yeah. So I'm going to put it on to a delayed picture, like six seconds to give me time to, you know, perfect my pose. <laughs> Not that I have a pose. I just want one good one. Just one good one. Yeah, one of them will be fine. Okie dokie, so I've finished taking my pictures so I can show you my deliveries. So the first thing I had um, a 
come this week was the December Glossy Box. Um, so I get sent this every month, I get it gifted, uh, just so you know, I don't pay for it. Uh, but I haven't actually opened this yet, so let's have a look what's inside. So I like the box, very Christmassy, yeah? Gold and red, all the glitters. I don't know if this is a special edition box. No, I think this is just, this is the December box. Uh, yeah, December box, five full-size products and an extra treat. So as always, it comes all tied up with a ribbon and you get a little um, card to tell you a bit more about the products that are inside. Ooh, a blackhead pore strip. Do you know what? I really do struggle with blackheads, so I might actually put that on tonight. Then we have a Divine Hydrogel Lip Mask. Now, why would I want a lip mask? I'm all about a face mask, but why would I want a lip mask? Plumps, tightens, smooths and hydrates. Not sure about that one, guys, I'll be honest. <gasps> Ooh, do you know what? I actually need some shower gel and I forgot to buy some. And the last one I had was um, a kind of sweet smell like this one. This is Imperial Leather Cosmic Unicorn Limited Edition Moon and Sparkles Unicorn Dust Shower Gel. Let's have a smell. Mm, yeah, it smells nice. Fruity, sweet, which is kind of how I like my um, shower gel. So obviously that's a full size product in there. That's nice, nice and useful. Then we have from Nico Pro Liquid Jelly Blusher. Ah, now I'm quite into um, jelly type blushes at the moment because I think they give a bit more of a dewy finish. But this doesn't look like a very pigmented colour. So we shall have to see how that is on the old cheeks. Two more things. Bella Pierre Shimmer Roll. Oh, for your body. I haven't put shimmery stuff on my body since the 90s. Does anybody do that anymore? And then the last product is a matte lip crane in a slightly dark red. This I'm very happy about. I don't have, that's my ear deep coughing. Um, I don't have a color like this and I do like matte and I do like lip crayons. So I'm definitely gonna use this. This is in the shade Winterberry, which sounds nice, doesn't it? Now I've been dying to open this, but I really wanted to open it on camera. So um, I have a lovely follower on Instagram called Sam and Sam always sends me the most loveliest messages of support she always likes my pictures she always comments she's always really like just really generous with her time and her likes and everything on my account she actually has a jewelry little business um, on Etsy I think 47 West it's called I'm gonna link it in the description box below and I want you all to go and take a look at her shop because from what I've seen, her pieces are beautiful and she's very, very, very kindly offered to send me a few pieces. So she's chosen these pieces for me. She sent me an absolutely lovely card, which I have already read. I didn't want to read it on camera because I thought I might get all emotional. She is such, such a sweet woman and she's a big fan and follower of mine and that's just really humbling and really lovely. So. I'm going to open this parcel for you guys now so you can all see what she sent me. So as you can see, she's boxed it up for me absolutely beautifully, all wrapped in tissue paper with her little, um, this is her logo, 47 West. That is absolutely beautiful. Isn't that nice? This is so generous of her. Honestly, I didn't expect her to send me four pieces. It's really, really kind of her. So I'm just going to open up the boxes and then I'll show you what's inside. They are absolutely beautiful. So she makes everything herself. It's filled gold and um, she hand stamps everything herself. So she has sent me um, a gold wishbone necklace, which is absolutely beautiful. Then um, a disc with a stamped D, initial D on it. A little snowflake, which is very appropriate for the season. And then a really pretty, another disc necklace with just uh, dots embossed, which is really nice and simple. So to Sam, thank you so much. Honestly, um, you've made my day. They're absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to wear them. Hello, hello, it is Wednesday and I am off to London today. So I'm going to meet my friend Jay. Um, he's one of the Olympus ambassadors. Um, I work with Olympus a lot as well. That's how we know each other. We went to Miami together. If you didn't see our Miami vlog, then do watch it because it was so funny. Had such an amazing time together. But yeah, gonna go to London 
uh, have some coffee, chat about cameras, and yeah, just get out of the house really. It's one of those weeks where I just I'm trying to make plans and do things and hang around people because too much time on your own is not good, people. It is not good. But yeah, uh, this is what I'm wearing. I've got my Bowden camel coat on, my Burberry scarf, which was a gift from my brother uh, last Christmas. Sort of animal printy zebra jumper, which I'll link. It's so soft. Uh, it's from Find Amazon. My Bowden. Um, leopard print trainers and just some jeans. Just quite casual because I'm just going for coffee. I might get him to take me an outfit snap because to be honest, we're gonna be testing out the cameras and everything, so it's probably worth it. I'm here with Jay. Check out Jay's hat. Your hat. What about my hat? Star Wars hat. Star Wars hat, yeah, it's Star Wars hat. Uh, we're just having a coffee and a chat and I'm just about to eat some very, very nice avocado on toast um, because I'm hungry. Jay's not eating because Jay does meat. He eats only meat. <laughs> True story. But yeah, more about that on his Instagram. So I'm just in Oliver Bonas and um, it's the one at Liverpool Street Station and I've been toying with these trousers for ages and ages and ages and I thought I'd actually miss my train so I've got an hour to wait on my train so I thought I would come in and try them on and they fit so nice and now I really really want them look look how well they fit I mean there's a little bit of room but not much get my hair cut. I need to take Gus out for a walk and look. He can literally smell that I've put my socks on at 20 paces. I don't know how, he just always knows when I've put my socks on, ready to take him out for a walk. Don't you? Watch this though. Gus, do you want to go walkies? Do you want to go walkies? Do you want to go walkies? Yeah, we go walkies. We go walkie woo woos. Walkie woo woos. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're all done. Nice trim. And also, Natasha got me a very nice glass of this. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year! Yes, and a Happy New Year! Lovely. So I had my hair cut. Here it is. So is the snip. And now at tonight's recipe for London. I started this vlog. I am going to finish it up today. I didn't vlog yesterday because, um, what did I do yesterday? It obviously wasn't a very exciting day, so I obviously didn't share any of it. Oh, I just spent the day at home, like, editing photos and, um, had some bits and bobs of work to do and nothing very exciting. The only thing I did do was I've added a little, um, zhuzhi tree to my dining room. Have a look. So, I found this, um, marble pot. It's actually a utensil pot so after I finished with it I'm gonna use it to store my utensils. But I got this branch. A friend of mine gave it to me. She had two of them. It was already white. 
and I've just, you know, hung some jazzy baubles on it. And that's basically what's on my dining table. I was going to have a Christmas tree over here in that corner, but um, I decided not to. The less said about that, the better, really. I'm also being followed round by two small Jack Russells who just are just following me everywhere. Why are you following me? There's nothing exciting happening. Look, now Eddie's going to try and fit in the world's smallest bed with Gus. It's not designed for two dogs, that sweetheart. He always has to sit exactly where Gus is and it really does irritate Gus. It's quite funny. Um, I've got on some of those necklaces that I unboxed from 47 West. They look so nice. I've got on the little um, D and the uh, wishbone as well. So I really, really like them. I'm so, I'm so touched that she would send me them. It's really, really kind of her. So, uh, but yeah, that's about it happening today. I can't decide whether to finish the vlog here or to show you guys what I'm wearing later to go out. I shall see. I don't know. I mean, it's not that exciting really, is it? Me going out. It doesn't happen very often. So it kind of maybe is that, you know, a little bit exciting. But yeah, that's about it. Obviously, um... It's the Saturday, one of the last Saturdays before Christmas. I am a bit behind on my Christmas shopping. So I probably, sh probably should pick up some presents today, but I have no plans to. I'm going to worry about that next week. I haven't got that many to get, so. But yeah, I need to head off into town, so catch you later. Hello, hello, it is Sunday. So I didn't show you what I was wearing last night. I do apologize. It's because I, of course, true to form, Deborah was running late and I didn't have time to show you what I was wearing to go out. But I did share it on my Insta stories. You may have caught it. Anyway, I just wanted to finish off the vlog and say that that's the end. And also just to say thank you so much for all of you who have watched my videos this year who've liked, who've commented on them. I know there haven't been as many in the last few weeks, obviously, as I explained, there's just been a few things going on in my life and it has made things a little bit more difficult, but I promise from 2019 going forwards, I wanna make loads more video content for you guys. So of course, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see. And yeah, I hope you have an absolutely amazing Christmas. I hope you have a wicked new year and I can't wait to see you all in 2019. So yeah, from the bottom of my heart, Thank you and Merry Christmas.